Hi guys, welcome back to Living Candidly. I am Kay. I hope you've been swell, well, well, <laughs> and welcome back. Um, it's been a long time since I've actually sat out and done a video outside with my favorite tree in the back. Actually, my favorite tree is over here on the other side, which I would do a little background of that, but mm, being cute over there. <laughs> but, um, why is it fighting? I hope you've been great. So today, I recently um, started reading this book, uh, this book called You Were More Than Who You Think You Are. And I'm not that far into the book yet, but um, there was a chapter today that I read about how not, uh, it wasn't even about the chapter, but it was kind of like, the book is basically like you realizing how fucking amazing you are as a person and it was crazy because <laughs> I read this book and then I did some of the little prompts in there that they had and then I usually dive into my EFT tapping videos and one of the videos that I tapped on today was not everyone will like me not everyone likes me and the EFT tapping is to get rid of that thought and it's like <laughs> and one thing he said in that video is that You've gotten this far with not everybody liking you. So in some instances, you have to like, you like you. Because you've <laughs> you've gotten this far. So this video is to talk about it's okay for everyone to not like you. It's okay for not everyone to be your friend. It's okay for people to really not support you it is okay to not be liked by everybody because when you spend so much of your life always seeking validation and believe me i can relate i'm still killing those parts of myself but when you spend so much time of your life looking for validation you actually are living for everybody else and your life is determined on what other people want of you and what other people say that this is what you're supposed to be this is what you're supposed to do you can only do this when i tell you to do that you're basically giving your power away to other people to control you to tell you how you should and should feel and what you're feeling isn't true and believe me i've grown up in a narcissistic home where my mother actually told me to my face that multiple times on multiple occasions until i recently cut her off that this is how you feel. You can't feel these emotions. You you haven't had it worse. You don't know what it's like to go through crap. You don't know this. All of these things to invalidate my own experiences. So, yes, I understand. I probably have never experienced on a level what you've experienced. But I understand what it means to be invalidated. And what it means to constantly look for validation. And when you live a life of always having this fear of like, what if nobody likes me? What if nobody likes this fucking project I just did? What if nobody is going to be excited about this vision that I have? Who the fuck cares? And, and it's, that's blunt in itself to say that, right? Um, I don't even know if I'm going to title this video that because so much information at this moment is like coming through. So, <laughs> um... The only validation you'll ever need is from yourself and a lot of people be like okay we hear that all the fucking time bro all these videos because that's it that is it you know you spend so much time looking for validation from other people when the same people that you're looking for validation from they barely they probably don't even know themselves either I feel like a lot of people that have um self low self-esteem or um a low sense of self they don't really believe in themselves they really don't trust themselves they're people pleasers they're doing all of these things and they're looking for all this external validation outside of themselves they get around and they're in circles with people who are wanting the same thing in circles with people who don't know who they are in circles with people who have limiting beliefs who since they didn't succeed you can't succeed and you gotta kind of look at it as that 
the same people that you're seeking validation from or the same people that you're afraid because you're kind of like well what if they don't like me okay my question to you okay so what if they don't like you are you gonna die I know more of it but are you are you are you gonna die so you're telling me that this one individual or multiple individuals if they don't like you you're gonna die I think the answer is no and maybe yes because you're so afraid and you constantly want validation from other people and I can get that but you obviously in some sense love yourself and even if it's not fully 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 like radical self-love it's not like all showing out that yes I'm, I know who the fuck I am type of energy you've survived this long see that plane up there can't even see it <laughs> but you've obviously survived this long to know that in some instances you love yourself you've survived this long so I'm asking you again so what do you like you seriously I actually asked this in my last video do you like you because if you don't like you then you're gonna constantly have this fear of not being liked by everybody else if you don't like who you are at your core, if you don't have this ultimate self-love for who you truly are as a person, you're gonna continue to have this fear of not being liked. And I'm not saying once you get to some radical self-love that there's not gonna be moments that are gonna pop up where you're gonna be like, I'm still working on bettering and only wanting validation from myself. Oh my God, I'm still working on really loving myself and accepting myself at every stage. But oh my God, I still kind of want that. I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but people who truly love themselves, they don't care if not everybody likes them. When you find that group of individuals that love you and support you, that is all that matters. There are people out there that, they're, okay, for, there's another example that I heard today. There's so many people out there that get so successful, right? They get so successful. Do you think that they allow one person that wrote a badass review about their product or one person that was just kind of like, I don't like you. I really don't like what you're selling. I'm not really interested. And then they took over. Like, you think they're going to let that one person when they've sold millions and millions of products or whatever it is that they do in their career, they've impacted so many lives affect them? No, because that is what's gonna come when you become successful you're gonna always have negative people you're gonna have people that fucking adore you and love you and they're supportive and they love you through all your flaws and your imperfections but you're also gonna have people that are not really with that and that is okay it is okay to not be liked by everybody it is okay and I know that this video is all over the place but it is okay to not be liked by everybody you're not for everybody and that is perfectly okay the people that are for you will come into your life and the people that aren't won't you've ever had people that just automatic out of nowhere they just kind of disappear and they kind of slide away they slip away it's just kind of kind of like fade that for me is the universe getting rid of people that are not meant to go with you in the next season of your life so this fear of not being liked by everybody we all the beautiful people that are on their self-discovery journey and learning to love who they truly are as a person <laughs> we will overcome this it's okay do you like you and honestly i actually sit with myself and i'm really starting to really get to know me better at my core and it's so fucking exciting because I will attract people that love me for me and they will listen to me. So this video is to call you to really start your journal, 
start to do shadow work start to really go out and do things that you like um <laughs> go to that go get your fucking nails done go to that fucking play that you've been wanting to see for since for fucking ever go um traveling go to that country you've always want to go to and you've been holding out to go because your so-called friends have been constantly canceling sometimes you gotta do it yourself you gotta go out to that event by yourself because you never know you might actually meet people there that end up becoming your best friends for life so yet again no more external validation and this is easier said than done so obviously give yourself um patience and grace and pace because me as an individual i hope somebody's here i heard somebody come in <laughs> but me as an individual i still somewhat seek validation and then um, sometimes when i do like the dishes or i clean my oh, clean my room or i fold uh fold laundry or i do such and such things i still want somebody to come behind me and be like oh my god i'm so proud of you and that is because i never got that when i was a kid i was never validated and when you're not when your when your sense of self is not validated and i heard it's around like two to three three to four years old i am no psychiatrist no 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 therapist please i don't have any of that i don't know what's with all these flies right now but i have none of that but I've learned that when you're not validated and kids are constantly looking for their parents to validate them, to validate their sense of self, to validate who they are. Yes, I'm so proud of you, Kay. Oh my God, I knew you could do it. Yes, I'm going to support you. See, I'm getting like all types of bit up out here. But all of these things, when, you can't, when you're, you're wanting to hear that as a kid and when you don't get that, your ego comes in and it's like protect mode and i have this whole identity i'm associated with nothing but my trauma and this is who i am and this is always who i, who I will be well it's kind of it's time for you to to disrupt and to destroy that ego that false sense of self because you have always been who you truly were since before all the programming you've always been amazing a beautiful fucking soul before all the programming before all the negative thinkings and limited beliefs before people came in and they inflicted their trauma onto you you didn't deserve that at all <laughs> so i really don't want this video to be long because i can't really passionate but continue to fall in love with yourself get to know yourself and i'm getting over here bit up because i'm about to go back inside <laughs> get to know yourself fall in love with yourself and just remember you've survived this far so in some sense you love yourself enough to keep going you've gotten this far i don't care what age you are you've gotten this far so in some sense you love yourself even if it's like I'm not trying to I'm not part of no Illuminati but <laughs> even if it's like that small it's like that small <laughs> um you love yourself okay and then maybe it's not fully like you know but you've survived this far so I am proud of you and Thank you again for tuning into my video and supporting me and being there for me because I really appreciate you guys and I will definitely see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>